Reinforced concrete structures various limiting values. 1. By over reinforcing a beam, the moment of resistance can be increased not more than 25%. 2. The maximum shear stress in a rectangular section of a beam is 1.50 times the average. 3. According to Indian Standard 456 specifications, the safe diagonal tensile stress for M150 grade concrete is 5 kg per square centimeter. 4. Spacing of stirrups in a rectangular beam is increased at the center of the beam. 5. Dimensions of a beam need to be changed if the shear stress is more than 20 kg per square centimeter. 6. For M150 grade of concrete, according to IS 456 specifications, the local bond stress is 10 kg per square centimeter. 7. If the diameter of a reinforcement bar is D, the anchorage value of the hook is 16 D. 8. The radius of the bar bent to form a hook should not be less than twice the diameter. 9. The length of the straight portion of a bar beyond the end of the hook should be at least 7 times of the diameter. 10. Lapped splices in tensile reinforcement are generally not used for bars of size larger than 36 mm diameter. 11. Minimum spacing between horizontal parallel reinforcement of the same size should not less than 1 diameter. 12. For the design of simply supported T-beam the ratio of the effective span to overall depth of beam is limited to 20. 13. Columns may be made of plain concrete if their unsupported lengths do not exceed their least lateral dimension 4 times. 14. The diameter of transverse reinforcement columns should be equal to one quarter of the diameter of the main rods, but not less than 7 mm. 15. The length of the lap in a compression member is kept greater than 24 bars diameter. 16. A column is regarded as long column if the ratio of its effective length and lateral dimension exceeds 15. 17. The pitch of the main bars in a simply supported slab should not exceed its effective depth by 6 times. 18. For M150 grade of concrete, the moment of resistance factor is 8.50. 19. The flow slab of a building is supported on reinforced cement flow beams. The ratio of the end and intermediate spans is kept 0.90. 20. The maximum ratio of span to depth of a slab simply supported and spanning in one direction is 30. 21. The maximum ratio of span to depth of a slab simply supported and spanning in one direction is 35. 22. The maximum ratio of span to depth of cantilever slab is 12. 23. For a continuous flow slab supported on beams, the ratio of end span length and intermediate span length is 0.90. 24. If the sides of a slab simply supported on edges and spanning in two directions are equal, the maximum BM is multiplied by 0.50. 25. The diameter of column head support of a flat slab is generally kept 0.25 times the span length. 26. The minimum thickness of the flat slab is taken as 13 cm. 27. The effective width of a column strip of a flat slab is half the width of the panel. 28. For a circular slab carrying a UDL, the ratio of the maximum negative to maximum positive radial moment is 2. 29. For a normal cases, stiffness of a simply supported beam is satisfied if the ratio of its span to its overall depth does not exceed 20. 30. The ratio of breadth to effective depth is kept. 0.50. 31. For initiate estimate for a beam, the width is assumed 1 30th of span. 32. The thickness of the topping of a ribbed slab varies between 5 cm to 8 cm. 33. The breadth of a ribbed slab containing two bars must be between 8 cm to 10 cm. 34. The maximum diameter of the bar used in ribbed slab is 22 mm. 35. The maximum permissible size of aggregates to be used in casting the rib of a slabs is 10 mm. 36. The thickness of the flange of a T-beam of a ribbed slab is assumed as thickness of the concrete topping. 37. According to IS 4561978, the thickness of reinforced concrete footing on piles at its edges is kept less than 15 cm. 38. The weight of foundation is assumed as 10% of wall weight. 39. 
If the width of the foundation for two equal columns is restricted, the shape of the footing generally adopted is rectangular. 40. In a combined footing, if shear stress exceeds 5 kg per square centimeter, the nominal stirrups provided are 12 legged. 41. In a combined footing, if shear stress does not exceed 5 kg per square centimeter, the nominal stirrups provided are 8 legged. 42. Bottom bars under the columns are extended into the interior of the footing slab to a distance greater than 42 diameter from the center of the column. 43. On piles, the drop must be at least 120 cm. 44. The raft foundation is provided if its area exceeds the plane area of the building by 50%. 45. If W is weight of a retaining wall and P is the horizontal earth pressure, the factor of safety against sliding is 1.5. 46. Cantilever retaining walls can safely be used for a height not more than 6 meters. 47. If H is the overall height of a retaining wall, the width of base slab usually provided as 0.7 OH. 48. The toe projection of foundation slabs is taken as one third of the base. 49. The thickness of base slab of a retaining wall generally by provided as width of the stem at the bottom. 50. The minimum headroom over a stair must be 210 cm. 51. For stairs spanning horizontally, the minimum waist provided as 12 cm. 52. The number of treads in a flight is equal to rises minus 1. 53. In favorable circumstances a 15 cm concrete cube after 28 days attains a maximum crushing strength is 400 kg per square centimeter. 54. The minimum cube strength of concrete used for a pre-stressed member is 350 kg per square centimeter. 55. As per IS 1343, total shrinkage for a post-tension beam is 3.5 asterisk 10 to 5. 56. A under reinforced section means steel will yield first. 57. An RCC beam not provided with shear reinforcement may develop cracks in its bottom inclined roughly to the horizontal at 45 degree. 58. The live load to be considered for an inaccessible roof is 75 kg per square centimeter. 59. The live load to be considered for accessible roof is 150 kg per square centimeter. 60. The allowable tensile stress in mild steel stirrups, reinforced cement concrete, is 1,400 kg per square centimeter. 61. The number of mere steel bars provided in a octagonal columns is 8. 62. Design of RCC cantilever beams is based on the resultant force at fixed end. 63. Design of RCC simply supported beams carrying UDL is based on the resultant BM at mid span. 64. The minimum clear cover of RCC column shall be greater of 25 mm of diameter. 65. RCC column is treated as short column if its slenderness ratio is less than 50. 66. RCC column is treated as long column if its slenderness ratio is greater than 50. 67. Continuous beam shall be deemed to be a deep beam if the ratio of span to depth is 2.5. 68. Failure of RC beam occurs as soon as the concrete strain in compression reaches 0.035. 69. The ratio of the depth of parabolic and rectangular portion block at the limit state of collapse of a singly reinforced section is 4 thirds. 70. In under reinforced singly reinforced beam, concrete crushes at its maximum strain 0.35%. 71. In column design, the tensile strength of concrete is taken equal to 0. 72. The maximum compressive strain in concrete in axial compression is taken as 0.002. 73. The ratio of minimum area of cross section of longitudinal bars and cross sectional area of column shall be 1 inch 125. 74. The ratio of no of longitudinal bars provided in rectangular columns to those in circular column is 2 thirds. 75. Spacing of longitudinal bars measured along the peripheral of the column should not exceed 300 mm. 76. The nominal longitudinal reinforcement in pedestals should not be less than 0.15% cross-section. 77. 
the internal angle of lateral ties in the form of polygonal links in columns shall not exceed 135 degree. 78. The diameter of transverse reinforcement for longitudinal bars grouped together without touching, and each group in transversely tied, shall not exceed 20 mm. 79. The ratio of the strength of compression members with helical reinforcement to those having lateral ties is 1.05. 80. Minimum grade of concrete for RCC is M20. 81. Creep coefficient of concrete at one year is 1.1. 82. Limit state design, the partial safety factor for concrete is 1.50. 83. Limit state design, the partial safety factor for steel is 1.15. 84. Floors of banking halls, office entrance halls and reading rooms having a minimum live load of 3 kN per square meter. 85. Count the fourth retaining walls provided where height of retaining wall exceed 5.5 meters. 86. Cement mortar unit weight is 20.40 kN per cubic meter. 87. Brick wall 100 mm unit weight is 1.91 kN per cubic meter. 88. Brick 200 mm wall unit weight is 3.84 kN per cubic meter. 89. Marble unit weight is 26.70 kN per cubic meter. 90. Teak wood unit weight of 6.28 kN per cubic meter. 91. For pavements recommended slump in um is minimum 25 and maximum 50. 92. For mass concrete structures recommended slump in um is minimum 25 and maximum 50. 93. For unreinforced footings recommended slump in um is minimum 25 and maximum 75. 94. For cations and bridge decks recommended slump in um is minimum 25 and maximum 75. 95. For reinforced footings, foundations and walls recommended slump in um is minimum 50 and maximum 100. 96. For reinforced slabs and beams recommended slump in um is minimum 30 and maximum 125. 97. For reinforced columns recommended slump in um is minimum 75 and maximum 125. 98. For RCC work beam, columns nominal size of aggregates used is 20 mm. 99. For mass concrete work, nominal size of aggregates used is 40 mm. 100. For flooring, 10 mm aggregates are used. Thank you.